Hi, and welcome back to the Dead Ball area. In this anatomy of a try, we're going to look at Rico Arnie's superb try against Wales. But while it's a wonderful piece of attacking play, we're going to focus on the failings in the Welsh defensive system and see how this try could perhaps have been avoided. We join the action at the 73rd minute with an attacking scrum to New Zealand after Wales concede a free kick. Now, New Zealand are reduced to 14 men and have opted to scrum without an eight. So why with reduced numbers would New Zealand take a scrum rather than a tap and go? Well the answer is to create space by pulling all the Welsh forwards in and negating the extra man in open play. So with the scrum reduced to 7 men it should have been obvious that New Zealand will run a strike move in and around the 13 channel looking to isolate Williams and Steph Evans. Obviously by going wide into this channel their primary objective is to try and break the line and score. But with Luke Whitelock moving up to lock, their first support unit is also reduced. So rather than come down the middle or close to the Welsh forwards, they'll look to get the defensive edge, where bodies are thin and there is less chance of a counter ruck or jackal. It also means the Welsh defenders will have to work extra hard to fold around if New Zealand decide to recycle and run with the same side attack. Now let's look at the Welsh setup. With Perinara about to feed the ball, we can see the Welsh midfield is well set up to receive a carry from Williams or Leonard Brown. But slightly wider, we can see there is a huge disconnect between Williams, Evans and Halfpenny. The Welsh midfield will look to come up straight and fast to pressurise Superaga and Williams. And if the ball goes wide, they can then adjust and drift. But meanwhile, Halfpenny will swing around to meet Mackenzie and Barrett. Conversely, with the aim of moving the ball wide off first phase, New Zealand now need to stop Wales drifting once they get up off the line. And to do that, they will run straight to fix the same defenders and preserve space. As lead runners fix the Welsh midfield, we can see already that Arani is drifting in around behind and that Perinara is essentially following the ball to receive it behind the screen of Williams. If we look at the defensive line, we can see Williams has already sat down and Evans has not pushed up. And if we look at the setup from behind, we can see that Amos was very tight on the scrum in the 15 metre channel. But with that scrum there and Davis and Tapirik coming in to fill the space between the scrum and bigger, there's little point in him defending in that channel. Now, personally, with the midfield so compressed, I'd have liked him to drop into the pocket behind it so he could track the ball as it moves wide and come in and meet a line break. That would also have allowed Halfpenny to step into the line earlier, either inside Evans or outside, pushing him infield to close the gap between him and Owens. Yes, that would narrow the defensive width, but it would present a picture of a solid wall right across the 15 metre line. Even with Halfpenny swinging wide as the ball comes across, we can see as the line break presents itself that maybe if Amos had been wide on his initial setup, that Williams, knowing someone was in behind him, could have come in earlier and pressurised Perinara. Evans could have pushed up onto Barrett and then Amos could have stepped in and met Arani as he makes the line break. So much of defence is about what you make the opposition see, but if both Williams and Evans had continued to push up, Wales could have continued to present what looks like a connected defence, and they could have got into the space of the players wrapping around. The issue is that knowing Halfpenny is swinging around wide, they understand that if the line break comes they have no cover defence, which is where Amos should have come into the equation. It's incredibly poor defence from Wales, exploited by the brilliant New Zealand backs, and Arani can as over for his second try of the game. Thanks for watching and supporting the videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Now please remember to thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all our videos and podcasts. Also, please feel free to leave comments and ask questions below or on Facebook and Twitter. See you next time.